Welcome to Best Binocular Views. Today's question comes from a reader looking to buy a pair of Swarovski CL pocket binoculars and can't decide between the 10 or 8 times version of the model. In this question they ask any comments on the Swarovski 10x25 CL pocket binoculars. The review of the 8x25 version is very favourable. The specs seem very similar and I was just wondering if you had any thoughts on the 10 times version. Thanks a lot and great sight. Many thanks for your question, which I will now try to answer to the best of my knowledge. Firstly, because I have not tested the 10 by 25 version, I cannot actually comment on the view through them specifically. But in general, 8 and 10 times versions of a, of a binocular from the same series are usually quite similar. Except for a few differences, some of which can be important. So in general, a binocular with a higher magnification increases in its detail, getting you closer to the target, but on the flip side, it leads to a narrower field of view and can sometimes deliver an image that looks to be less bright, especially in low light conditions. You also get an increase in image shape. However, at the 10 times magnification, this is for most uses and users not a major issue. And last but not least, higher power models tend to be more expensive. So let's see if and how these general rules apply in a specific case and compare the main stats between the 8 times and 10 times Swarovski seal pocket binoculars. In this table, I've highlighted the main differences between their specifications. And whilst it may be difficult to see in the video, the points that we have previously discussed have all played out in this specific case. Please note, if you do want to see this table in more detail, just click the link below that will take you through to the article on the website. One point that that table did throw up that we forgot to discuss was that higher power binoculars also tend to be fractionally heavier. This is because they need slightly thicker glass in order to magnify the image more. This fact also leads to another point. Less light passes through thicker glass and so is another reason on top of having a smaller exit pupil why a higher powered optics can often look less bright than lower powered devices. Although it must be said that in this specific case with the binocular that uses the highest quality glass and coatings, the difference between 8 and 10 times is going to be extremely small. So in summary, let's just quickly go over the advantages of each binocular. The 8x25 version of the Swarovski CL binoculars will have a wider field of view, which amongst other things makes it easier to quickly locate your subject and then follow it. This can be really important for users like bird watching, especially from closer distances. If you imagine you've got a bird in a nearby bush that's hopping around really quickly, just being able to quickly locate it and then follow it can be really important. Next, you get less image shake. The lower power makes it just that bit easier to keep the image still. The difference between an 8 and 10 times binocular is usually not that great. But if you have particularly shaky hands, or if you're using your binoculars on an unsteady base, something like a boat, this can be an important factor as well. The 8x version will also sometimes have a brighter view. The difference will be really small, but will be most noticeable in low light conditions. So if you find yourself often going out in low light, like before sunrise, or after sunset, or you do your birding or wildlife watching in thick forests or jungles, this will be another important point to keep in mind. And then lastly, it's important to keep in mind that the 8x version will be slightly cheaper and in fraction more lightweight. And now over to the 10 times powered model. Its main advantage is obviously that you get slightly closer to the image, giving you a little bit more image detail. You also get a little bit more higher resolution in low light. For a complete explanation of this, please just pop over to the BBR website and take a look up of the twilight factor. So there you have it. Depending on how you use your binoculars, each one will be slightly better suited to your specific needs and uses. Although I must stress, in many cases the differences are really small on such a high quality pair of optics. To read my answer to this question in full detail, just pop along to the BBR website and following the link below. Once again, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again next time.